Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. It's been a bit since I've received a Kubi. Uh, this is a premium one. Thank you very much to Kubi for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Sorry, I started to talk and I didn't do my intro. This is a premium one, I can tell, because it says um, KB321N type M390 plus tie. So, um, yeah, generally, yeah, it's going to be premium. And usually, Kubi's pricing is pretty good. Um, in fact, I think pretty much all the time Kubi's pricing is good. So I'll link this down in the description. It's almost certainly available. Um, so you guys can check it out if you want to. Um, I noticed it said we are looking at flamed tie here. So I'm interested to see what we've got. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we have another lid and okay. All right. What do we got going on here? We got to, oh, we got to get, we got to cut this open now too. Hold on. All righty that and we're almost there there we go i like flamed titanium i think it looks cool when they do it in this pattern here so we have a front flipper but fortunately we also have yeah the little slot there to reverse flick it sort of a light blasted uh blade i'm gonna move some of this stuff and we'll take a closer look at this knife light blasting on the blade what is this right here cm designs hmm i'm sure this has an actual name and that the code isn't actually you know i always complain about kubi using codes and then people always tell me it's actually got a name that's just the code they use kb321n in any case i'll find the name of it and link it in the description um whatever we want to call this blade shape right i kind of yeah, i don't know i don't know what we want to call it you you tell me what you think it looks like right? Jimping extended out to a nice area that complements the index finger position, which really is right here. You can definitely, there's enough of a flat area right here that you can kind of choke up. Steel lock bar insert, doubling as the over treble stop. The action is very nice. Very good. Oh, super smooth action right out of the box. Really good. Uh, front flipper action is also good. Kubi knows how to do uh, front flippers. The blue is fine. It's kind of, honestly, it's a little bit awkward against the flaming. I think I would have preferred that the hardware was silver or maybe even, oh, am I, am I off? Is it a, is it a bad take uh, or unpopular opinion to say maybe brass or a bronzy color? I don't know. The blue's a little weird, but it's okay. Kubi does a good job at uh, making sure that we, look at the definition here, guys. Look at this definition that we're getting. Yeah, that is some nice definition. In fact, let me zoom up so that I can capture exactly how much definition I'm providing. Okay, look at this. If you ever want the details of the inside of a screw, hmm, look at that. You can see the whole thing there. If you ever want these kind of details, you just come right on back to my channel and I'll provide them for you. This was part of the reason that I upgraded my phone is so that we could do this and that we could do it at 60 frames per second. <laughs> it looks nice. Everything looks good. It's nice to see things up close like this every now and then. I don't always do this, right? But yeah, if we take a look. Should we take a look at the edge? Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, how about inside? We got any milling, weight reduction? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me zoom back out. Talk about ergonomics and things here real quick. Just an unboxing and first impressions. Obviously, I, you know, haven't had it longer than about four minutes, so can't can't actually do the review yet. But ergonomically, you're kind of in the index finger position. My hands are kind of you know smashed into what's left over on the handle, but it's okay. If you choke up, you've definitely got more room. Uh, the thumb, if you choke up, your thumb is kind of squished back. The thumb position on the jimping where your index finger is supposed to be right here is actually pretty nice. So that's good. Most of the time I feel like I'd be holding it like this or, you know, like this, something like that. Edges around the titanium also feel nice. Uh, we've got a little bit of interesting milling going on here. They just sort of carve a little path through the frame and then this area just sort of connects and then transitions into nothing. It's just sort of a ramp that goes up. That's interesting. Kind of neat. 
Uh, milled clip, that's also flamed, and milled spacer with a lanyard bar. Again, also flamed, pretty nice. Okay, let's uh, take a measurement of this knife, overall length of this new Kubi model, or at least I assume it's a new Kubi model. Maybe it's a premium version of an existing one. Seven and a quarter. It's actually a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Blade length, I'm gonna give it three and an eighth. Cutting edge is actually under three inches. I'm gonna call that two point, yeah, I'm gonna say 2.9. Just under there, 2.9 inches. How about some size comparisons? Any custom scales you can uh, find down in the description under Original Goat and others. So up against the Ritter Hogan 8020.5, there we go. It's definitely closer to the size of the 8020.5. I think maybe another good one to do might be the Pyrite. And let's do, yeah. I think maybe um, the Civivi Elementum Button Lock is also a good size comparison. If you like knives of this size, this is definitely gonna be the right one here. How about the Wrapped Model 2? Still a model that's going strong in uh, 2023. The Rat 2, still a popular knife. I mean, it doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, how about we weigh the thing? I think maybe that might be one of the last things you guys want to know for this video. Weight on this Kubi is, hold on one second here. The weight is coming in at three and a half ounces. Actually, it's pretty good. The ratios are pretty good. Uh, I can't really complain about that. Is Now I'm racking my brain. Is this, is this a premium version of a model that already exists as a budget knife? It's so hard for me to remember. And part of it is, is because when I, and part of the, this is why I always complain, even, even though I found out that I'm wrong. I always complain about their code system and I don't realize that they actually do name the majority of these knives. Um, but because I always see the codes, um, I can't remember any of them. I, I just, I have such a, a hard time remembering. On, on, I know that Kubi has an official Amazon store. And to Kubi, whoever's running your Amazon store, you should put the names of the knives in the, at the top of the listing. The listings on Amazon always list them as their codes. And if all they have is a code, then fine. But if they have a name, it should say the name first. Now, maybe it does, maybe it does now, and I just haven't been paying attention. But that's why I have such a hard time remembering the names of a lot of these models. If you are unfamiliar with Kubi knives, they make excellent budget knives and excellent premium knives. Here lately, a lot of their S90V and titanium knives have come in under $200, which is very competitive. Same with their M390 and titanium. Now, I know that their S90V is heat treated pretty well. I don't know about their M390. Not saying that it's not. I'm saying I actually don't know. Um, or if I do know, I can't remember. But the pricing is always very good. Their budget stuff is also very, very fairly priced. So if not this, take a look around, especially if you're new to knives. Kubi is definitely a company that you should check out. They have some seriously high quality knives for not a whole lot of money, no matter where it is that you're shopping or what price point you're shopping at. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Like I said, this was just an unboxing and first impressions, but we will do a full comprehensive review of this knife a few weeks down the road. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on the Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.